My guest today is an amazing guitarist. He's the founding member and guitar player for the group Haken. He also has a new project out called Nova Collective, featuring members of Between the Buried and Me, Triscapes, and Cynic. Their brand new album called The Further Side comes out March 10th. He is also performing with Mike Portnoy as part of the Shattered Fortress. I'm pleased to welcome back Richard Henschel. Hey man, hey Rich, what's going on? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Been a while, actually. You know what? I'm, I was thinking back. I interviewed you on the site, like during the mountain. <laughs> it was like yeah. a while, while back. Uh, must, yeah, that was a while ago, wasn't it? 2014. Yeah, and that's must. something. A lot's to, a lot's changed. I didn't imagine uh, we had done uh, some interviews with Haken and, and all that stuff and um, figured the next time I'd speak with you would probably be the next Haken album and then, and then you go and release this insane new group. Well, we've, we've been sitting on this album for quite a while now because we, we actually finished recording the album at the right at the beginning of 2016 and we didn't release anything because obviously we had the Haken album coming out uh, later on in in April of that year, um, and also we had I think Dan had Orbs um, releasing an album in I think it was September time, so we thought it would be best to to like hold fire and wait until 2017 to release the new music. So we've been sitting on it for a whole year now, so it's great to finally get it out there. <laughs> right, and I mean, and it's also been in the works for a while, right? Going back a few years now. So why don't you yeah. tell about? you know, getting in touch with, with Dan and, and how that whole thing even started. It was ages ago now. It's in 2014. Wow. And I was, uh, I was searching the web on YouTube, as you do, and I was looking for some Haken-related videos. And I came across this video of Dan Briggs from Between the Buried and Me, and he was in a record store, and he was picking his favorite albums of that time. And um, he picked out Haken, uh, The Mountain, so I thought, wow, he's you know he's he's into our music. That's great. So I sent him an email, and uh, said thanks a lot for you know spreading the word of the band, and it's great to hear that you're into Haken stuff. And we just got chatting via email, and um, before too long, we we started exchanging musical ideas, and that's how the first uh, the demos and the first blueprints of the tunes that you heard on the album now uh, started to be formed. Right. And yeah, shortly after that, we found, um, well, we, we didn't find, we asked Matt Lynch, okay. who also plays with Dan in Triscapes and Orbs, and Pete Jones, who was also one of the original members of Haken from from way back. Well, not the original members, but he, he was actually on the first two demos from 2000, 2007 and 2008. So that's over 10, well, about right. 10 years. Right, he, he's not on any, on any Haken albums. He's not on Aquarius no, he, right. this was before the first album. We had these two demos um, in 2007 and 2008, and he was on those. Then he, he had to go off to, to study, and he did a physics degree. <laughs> and Yeah, and that's when we found Diego. And um, yeah, so it's a long... I've known Pete for over 10 years now, and he, he kind of mentioned to me that he was into get into, interested in getting back into the music. So I thought, wow, this is a perfect opportunity because... We were looking for a keyboard player, and it all kind of seemed to to fall into place at the right time. Yeah, and I can't really think of a better person for the job, really. So yeah, and and you know what, you need a physics degree to sort of play this music, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to study physics to be able to play. <laughs> it. We haven't actually we haven't played it live yet so much, so it's going to be interesting. Right. Are you planning to to do some shows? Yeah, I mean that's the plan. But um, obviously, me and Dan have got busy schedules with Haken and between the Buried and me. Right. But um, we really want to get it out there. I think this music will really come to life in a in a live context, and you know we could we can add improvised sections, and you know it'd be quite fun to just get it out there and see how people respond to it in in a live context. When you guys were writing, well, let me mention that the, the name of the album is called The Further Side, and it actually comes out in uh, almost two weeks, the March tenth. Right. Yes. And uh, it's six songs. So when did you know, you know, when you're working back, you're emailing parts and all that. When, when do you know, OK, this we have enough. This is what we're going to go with. From the outset, we, we knew we didn't want it to be too long um, for, for the first two Haken albums. They were like over 70 minutes. And it's, it's OK if you've got a concept and you've got lyrics to guide you along. But I think with instrumental um, music, it's quite overbearing if it's too long so we didn't want it to be crazily like lengthy like 70 minutes or anything like that so we we were hitting for the 45 50 minute mark um 
But in terms of the amount of songs, we just we had some core ideas and we started to develop them. And then we looked at the set length um, and it, it seemed to be around about the time that we were aiming for. Uh, so we just went with our six best ideas, really. And we had a, a few leftover songs that we might develop for the next album, but we'll have to wait and see. Well, you know what I like about the collection? First of all, besides the fact that the music is just insane and, and really catchy and memorable and, and everything is, is really solid on it. Uh, and I think the reviews say as much as, as what's been sort of read out there. But, um, you know, there's no fool around songs on there and sometimes you know bands like this with different members get together and they write their few songs and then they say well we need some more material so this will be we'll just jam for 10 minutes and throw it on there and it's you know it becomes a song you skip every time so you know i i think you guys did at least by my opinion just a great job of making it good from beginning to end thank you so much i mean it's crazy we're reading back all the reviews now and because we've been sitting on the music for so long, it's quite hard for us to gauge whether it's any good on like anymore. We, we've been listening to it, thinking, oh, "Is that any good?" Well, <laughs> right. But it's, it's awesome to to hear praise from people like yourself and some of the other reviewers out there. Um, but you know, we just like wrote what we felt we wanted to write. We didn't necessarily guide the music in any way, and. Mm-hmm. You know, it was more of an outlet just for our other ideas um, from from our other bands, and yeah, we you know it turned out to be fairly eclectic, and right. I think there's a bit for a bit for everyone really yeah. on there. And yeah, like I said, I can't wait to get it out there and you know, play this stuff live. So uh, you know, the the next question would be, I mean, w- would there be interest in in doing a follow up? You know, after the next Haken album, and you know that that type of thing. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a big game of Tetris, really. So we're trying to slot it in between, <laughs> yeah, the, the Haken album, the next be- between the Buried and Me album. Um, I'm pretty sure those guys are going to be writing some new stuff um, this year. And then uh, with Haken, we're going to be also starting the next writing process like later this year. Um, but we're totally pumped. And you know, hearing all these positive um, reviews and feedback from people really kind of gives us some adrenaline to yeah. just keep things moving and we've even um started sharing some ideas so cool, we're gonna, yeah and i think like i said before it's all about slotting it in in the right time yeah. and you know we could we we did the first album via email and we just bounced ideas back and forth so even if we're on tour we can still write stuff and i just like to write every uh, every opportunity i can right so we'll just keep pushing it and maybe in the next year or two we'll get another release out there so you know i know with the the first few haken albums you did pretty much all the music yourself and then it's become since sort of a a group writing thing was this a a a nice outlet for you to sort of you know maybe some ideas that now don't work with haken you, you were able to use for a side project and sort of write in a different way yeah, it's been it's been great fun. Like you said, with um, with the latest album, Affinity, with, with Haken, we took a lot more a lot more of a collaborative approach, and um, that's freed up a lot of time for me because before with the first three albums, I dedicated my whole life essentially to to writing the music, and it took up so much time. Um, so yeah, it's freed up a lot of time, which is um, part of the reason I kind of explored this new new idea with Dan, and. Yeah, I mean, I still with Haken, I still want to throw in as many crazy ideas as I can, um, but it's it's a whole different different approach really with with writing the Nova stuff because because there's no vocals obviously. Right. Um, with Haken, it's driven by the vocals a lot of the time, and the band are providing almost like a backdrop for the vocals to do their thing, and the lyrics tell a story. But with with the uh, with the Nova stuff, as it's instrumental. We got to kind of tell that story with the music, so it's been it's been really exciting, and um, it's been a yeah, really a real eye opener, and it's a new approach to writing, and I, yeah, I'm looking forward to carrying it on with the with the new stuff. Well, I also like that you have uh, by doing these kind of projects, you, there's all this exposure between bands and 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 the fan bases introducing each other to each other, sort of, you know, and, and a lot of great young bands out now. I mean, you, yourselves and between the Barry to Me and Leprous and and so on that are out there and everybody seems to be friendly and working together so i mean is are you guys all sort of trying to be that next wave of bands that are together totally man yeah i think it's all about spreading the love 
and um, you know sharing ideas and I mean I got in contact with Dan and it immediately we clicked and we, we shared like favorite bands and it, it was obvious that we were totally into the same music so we thought you know why not like start sharing some ideas and let's see what comes of it and you mentioned Leprous as well um, once again they're the nicest guys you could ever hope to meet and going on tour with them a few years back around the UK was such a great experience and we you know we keep in contact with those guys and we're often sharing messages and emails and stuff um, so yeah I, I see the whole progressive uh, community as a, a kind of like a collective of friends um, and with each tour we do we build that collective and you know keep in contact with people and that's the way I like to approach things yeah you're also taking on the, the Portnoy approach of adding side projects. So he's got a, a big jump start on you. Are you trying to compete? And do you have six or seven more side projects planned? Wow. I, I don't know how many hours he, <laughs> don't know how, how many hours he has in his day. <laughs> I don't know how he fits it all in. I mean, he's he's an inspiration. <laughs> really? and, uh, like just playing at a year on the cruise. And we played. Well, I wanted yeah. to ask you about that, the Shattered Fortress and and. Yeah. and you know, learning all that music and how long the planning for that took. I mean, it must have been crazy. It was crazy. Like, firstly, to be, um, you know, asked by a legend um, as uh, Port Noy is such, a, such an honor for us. And, um, yeah, it was a crazy, crazy ride. He told us about, about a year ago now. So on and off, we've been kind of going over these songs. And the, the hardest part was just the initial learning process. We learned the songs. And then it was just a question of going over and over the songs until they become second nature. Um, but uh, we got a few more shows uh, booked up for later this year with the Shattered Fortress stuff. So can't wait to get out there and do do that again. But back to the whole side project thing. I mean, I'm totally open to just <laughs> trying new things and playing with as many people as I can, really. I just enjoy playing music. So it's great fun. But I can never, never get to his level. <laughs> <He's got that. laughs> no, no one, no one's getting to that. <laughs> um, he probably has six more lined up we don't know about yet. Um, sure. uh, you, you, I want to ask you about the, the Shadow Fortress thing. So on tour now, it's going to be, you know, basically the core of you guys, Haken without Ray and, you know, and Mike, Mike doing the drumming and then and then Eric Gillette doing the extra guitar parts as well. And yep. um, are, are Ted and uh, Daniel also singing or is Ross going to be the only singer? So um, Ted and Daniel obviously did the cruise, um, but I'm not entirely sure of the setup for the other shows. I'm not entirely sure whether he managed to get them along for the ride. Um, so I know that Ross has learned all of the songs, so he's got it in his arsenal to put them off. But um, it'd be awesome if Daniel and Ted could come along because they're, they're such great singers. Did you guys see Ray surfing and kind of flipping you guys off during the show? Because that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he was standing at the side of the stage where I was and just throwing insults at me for the whole show. <laughs> and then I looked up and, yeah, he was crowd surfing with his middle finger up. So I was like this. <laughs> and um, I couldn't kind of resist laughing and having a smile on my face. And <laughs> it was a great, great experience. And no, for him, great. it must have been hard for him because he was the only guy that wasn't on the stage. But it must have been strange as well seeing seeing his whole band from the other side of the stage because he's never really seen that before. He's always been behind the stage and seen seeing our bums, I guess. <laughs> that was, that really was a lot of fun. I mean, do you enjoy the the cruises generally speaking? I know you had your family with you and and a young young kid now you have with you. And I mean, was that just, just juggling the performances and family? And is that is that a good time? Oh, it's such a great time. I mean, it's very hard to find to find the opportunity to bring my wife and my new kid um, along. Because when we're touring, it's always hot and sweaty, and we're stuck in the tour van, and there's no time really for that kind of stuff. Right. But on the cruise, we play the shows, and then we have a whole day really to to relax with the family. Um, so yeah, it was so much fun. And my my kids, he's only he was only ten months on right. the cruise, so it was the first time really for him to like experience something like that. And I think he fell asleep throughout the whole of it <laughs> time. So he obviously isn't into the movie just yet, but no. that's a work in progress. <laughs> right, right. Um, you know, I want to touch base, of course, on now you're coming on the Haken 10 year anniversary, and you guys have a special tour coming up in, in Europe for that, and, um, and then maybe some dates uh, for the US, I think I heard. You know, looking back on, on 10 years, I mean, that must be amazing. And, and I can even remember just from uh, the first cruise you guys did three years ago where, 
the mountain was just out and not as many U.S. fans knew who the band was to seeing the audiences you guys played for on this cruise, which was humongous. So, I mean, that's got to be something to um, to blow your mind, I think. It's totally crazy. And it's such a cliche to say that time has flown by so quickly, but it really does feel like yesterday when we were recording those demos in 2007 and 2008. And like you say, now, 10 years on, like we're in a position where we can go out and tour Europe and we can tour America and play to loads of people that we've never even met before. And they know our lyrics and they know our riffs. And it's an insane, insane experience. And that's what we've always kind of worked towards and dreamed about. Um, so we feel completely honored, really, to be doing this. And, you know, but it, in a weird way, even though it's been 10 years, it still feels like we're at the beginning of our journey and we're still pushing it as hard as we've ever pushed it. And we're we're hoping to get to a point where, you know, this is our full-time job and we can make a career fully out of playing in Haken. And I think we're almost there now. And, you know, we're just supportive of like everyone that's come to see us over the years. It's just a great experience. I loved every album and even Affinity was different and amazing in every every way possible. And I think everything you guys are doing seems to be good. So uh, I hope there's, you know, another 10 years, man. I really do. Ah, oh, me too. Me too. I mean, and it's also since we, you mentioned the mountain and that was when we signed to Inside Out yeah. and it was really like a big, big step up for us. And I remember when we first started the band, we had a list of things and signing to Inside Out was one of those boxes that we always wanted to tick. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when we, when we finally did that, it was like, wow, this is, um, feels like a, a real step in the right direction. And yeah, and I think since we released the mountain, you know, our progress has really increased. And yeah. so hopefully, yeah, next 10 years, we'll keep pushing it as hard as we can. And um, who knows where we'll be, but we'll, you know, we'll keep working at it. All right, man. Well, always good talking to you, Rich. Uh, pleasure, man. Nice one. Speak to you soon. Oh, Take man. it easy. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks to Rich for the interview. We're going to close with a track off of the further side. This is Ripped Apart and Reassembled. For upcoming news and interviews, please check theparkreport.com, follow us on Facebook, at The Park Report on Twitter, or download the podcast on iTunes. Thanks.